The Philadelphia Church made the rapture. Why were you left behind? Hi, we all tried our best. Much of what uh, was said seemed unbelievable because the earth in modern days had never encountered the things that we are seeing today. Most of us, the Philadelphia Christians, the raptured ones, had to work strictly by faith. We had to believe in Jesus without seeing him. We were given coincidences that seemed surreal. The Holy Bible was our signpost, our directions in this lifetime, but most of us just didn't understand this. The Holy Bible is not a suggestion, but rather a set of firm rules to live by. Most of us go day by day living our lives, only to find out at the end that it was nothing of what we thought it was. The things we thought were important, like making money, having fun, impressing others, going on trips, were actually the things that had the least positive impact on our lives. The times we helped a homeless person, the time we gave something to someone who needed it, the prayers we prayed for others were the things that uh, had the biggest impact on our lives. But now we are here with egg on our faces and not a clue on how to get back into the good graces of God. Just know that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so none would perish but have everlasting life. So Jesus came to earth as a man so that you could have the ability to be forgiven of your sins. Without Jesus being born of a virgin, living a flawless life, dying on the cross, and being resurrected for your sins, you would not have the ability to believe in him, so that you can turn from your sins and follow him to heaven. Most have thought that this lifetime had no consequences to the sins that we are all guilty of. Most thought that God's commandments were optional, and being good enough was more than adequate. I guess we are all surprised that this is not the case. Angels have been taking notes for your entire lifetime, both good and bad. What you thought uh, no one knew about, well, it's common knowledge to God. I bet you want the short version of this already, and how to make it to heaven. Well. God wants you to know him first of all. The only way to God is through Jesus. Both God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are basically one. Sort of like you are made up of a heart, kidneys, liver, etc. Same thing. As you repent of the things you have done wrong and mean it, you will start the healing process. Make sure you do not go back to those sins. He is your Father in Heaven and our Creator and always has loved you. A matter of fact, I think He really wants me to say He really loves you and wants you to make it to Heaven. God wants a relationship with you. He desires you to pray and speak with Him daily and do it in Jesus' name. Repent immediately if you have done something that is not of God. God is our creator who does not want you to acknowledge other gods you might have taken a fancy to over the years, like Buddha, Earth Mother, the Sun, other faiths other than Christianity, are to be strayed away from. These are not gods, but a direction Satan has sent you in so that you would miss the real and correct mark. These are called idols. Being Jew Jewish is fine if you believe that the Messiah is Jesus. God also does not appreciate you doing yoga, which are really poses to gods other than him. He does not want you getting tarot card readings, psychic readings, fooling around with Ouija boards, um, anything that constitutes witchcraft or magic in any way. These are all against God and will only bring you closer to Satan and not to our Creator. Get rid of all these things that are in your home and renounce them now. Satan's job is to distract you, get you involved with gods that are not real. He may cause you to fear many situations 
which gives his demons permission to enter you. Anytime you sin, you are giving permission to demons to live within you. If you are a liar, then demons of lying will seek you out. Unforgiveness also gives Satan permission to cause problems within your life. Forgive others just like Jesus will forgive you of your sins. That person you claim to love but have never married, this is considered fornication. It is time to either stop sinning against God and get married and make it legal in God's eyes. And most importantly, do not take the mark which goes in your right hand or in your forehead. This will bring you to hell upon your death. Under no circumstances take it. Now is the time to clean up your act and mean it. Do no more sinning. We are at the last dance of the night and there is no more time. He expects full cooperation, mainly because there's no more time. We, the Christians who spent the last five to 15 years, most of us, waiting and cleaning up our lives are grateful for this time that we are able to spend and get to know Jesus, God. Most of us did not want to listen to us and just thought we were crazy, misinformed, or possibly delusional. I guess that didn't work out exactly as most thought it would. Anyhow, it's not too late. That's the good news. God is willing to get you on the right track. He wants you to be with him in heaven, and he is kind and compassionate, and he loves you. No matter what your sin or sins, he is willing to take the new you. All you must do is change what cannot be brought into heaven, which is sin. You cannot change without him. I hope this has helped. See you in heaven.